Coming up on this episode of Takedown with Chris Hansen. So you're chatting with him right now. Yes, I am. And what is he saying? He originally said he was close. Now he says he's only 30 minutes away and he's coming right now. And what do you know about this guy? Goes by the name of Big John. Big looks John. Like, looks like a white male. Big John is about to be in big trouble. Range guy just said he's three minutes out. No, no, no. I need you to. No, you have to sit. sit. Oh, I'm going through a little hot tonight. Oh, but we'll explain that, John. Oh, fuck. The Genesee County, Michigan Sheriff's Office and Ghost is back with another undercover operation. Sheriff Chris Swanson has invited me and my team to take part in tonight's takedown. And I will tell you, this team has become the, the national standard of human trafficking enforcement. So that's why we partner with Chris. His platform, our platform, if we can match uh, and, and build out the message, then that's the purpose of him being here. So we thank you for that. Another very important player in tonight's operation is Genesee County Prosecutor David Late. How do we keep from entrapment? How do we keep cases together? How do we put cases together so it's easy for you? How do we write reports? And the fact that we've been in 43 counties helping other sheriffs do the same thing. We've not lost a single case. We haven't lost a trial, a motion. We get the job done. Prosecutor Layden is responsible for making sure each alleged child predator captured during a ghost operation can be successfully prosecuted. As you all know, most of these cases end up in pleas. And pleas are good because it's finality. The case is over, there's no appeal, but we always have to prep a case as if it's going to go to trial. First to visit the Sting House is 21-year-old John, or as he likes to be called, Big John. And what do you know about this guy? Uh, he said he's in his early 20s, goes by the name of Big John. Big looks John. Like, looks like a white male. And he actually showed up in a previous investigation. The ghost chatter has been communicating with Big John for about a week now. He even surfaced in another undercover investigation. But we didn't arrest him in that previous time. He right. was just chatting with us. He was just chatting. So you're chatting with him right now. Yes, I am. And what is he saying? Um, he originally said he was close. Now he says he's only 30 minutes away, away and he's coming right now. Um, we did a phone call and our decoy did an amazing job of talking to him and put him at ease to get him so he's definitely wanting to come a sheriff's deputy posing as a 15 year old girl got on the phone with big john so you do this a lot um no we just started doing it oh. but i really like it so i mean i'm into it um, he does it too? um sometimes but not really no he just watches it. Gotcha. But you like it? Yeah, I love it. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. I like that. The scenario is that he thinks you're essentially pimping out your girlfriend's teenage daughter. Yeah, no money has been exchanged, but he definitely knows her age and he's coming to have sex with her. Right. And, and he thinks that you're going to get off by watching this. Absolutely. That this is some special stepdaddy daughter time of some sort. Yes, pretty and sick. Big John is on his way. He said he's three minutes out. And I want to know just who I'm dealing with. That's our guy, huh? Same picture you chatted us with last week as well. Big John. Since he's in his 20s, early 20s. Could be a fake picture. Could be a fake picture. We won't know until he mm -hmm. gets here. Big John is here. A ghost detective posing as the girl's mother's boyfriend meets him outside and escorts him into the house. Man. Yeah. The decoy says she has to go get her vape. That's my cue to head in and have a chat. No, no, no. I need you to. No, you have to sit. sit. Keep your hands out of your pocket. Big John immediately recognized me. The first words out of his mouth are my name. How did you know it was me? 